Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine Yungeko, your coach in data analysis using R2. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform panel data unit loot testing, or I'm going to show you how you can analyze stationarity in panel data. I collected the data from World Bank indicators, and variable analyze include inflation, unemployment, and the gross domestic product in Sub-Sahara. Data collected are related to 32 sub-Saharan African countries. Data are balanced, and I'm going to show you some tests which can be used when you want to perform panel data unit loot. I'm going to show how you can apply this these tests to make analysis on panel data stationarity now first of all i'm going to import my data in our environment this command is to indicate where i stored my data this one let's run this comment after this i'm going to just import my data in working environment this this one this comment I save my data in this is the, the name I give to where I want to save my data and this is the comment this is the noun of my data set this header is to import our names of our variables and this is to indicate how our data are separated and this is for decimal and later on this comment just to import our data in working environment now yeah, i can just show you first, first observations as you can see here friends i have for instance here this is the name of country country this is the year and this is um, payback this is the gdp gross domestic product this is inflation this is unemployment which is in french chômage okay friends uh, the next comment just i'm going to show you show you how the data set looks like using this command view this one let's run this command and then you will see all the data sets look friends this is the country this is the year this is the gross domestic product this is inflation this is unemployment and as you can see here i have for instance this is the country burundi i have 13 observation for burundi from 2009 till 2021 this one you see here friends and the next country is republic democratic of congo this one you see here same observations same observations since 2009 and 2000 and till 21 till 2021 you see this is gross domestic product this is inflation this is unemployment and the whole data set and with 416 observations let's show you the whole data set this one you see the, the last observation is zimbabwe you see zimbabwe here because I collected data related to 23 countries from Sub-Saharan Africa, Africa, from Sub-Saharan Africa. The next comment here, I'm going just to, to create that, uh, panel data in R, because as you can see here, friends, our data set is not recognized as data, data um, panel data. I'm going to show you how you can, when you have imported your data set, I'm going to show you how you can make or how you can create panel data, which is recognized in, in this working environment. Now, this you see this comment, P data dot frame. This is the, the name of our data set, and index. You see country. This is the names of countries. And this is the period, years, because now, as you can see here, friends, you see these, these, uh, these indications, countries, you see under countries, we have all countries or all observations. It may, be, it may be company, it may be some other uh, um, individual you are looking on, you are analyzing. This is the year, this is 
what I have to use as index. Now, when I run this comment, let's run this comment and you will see how a data set will look like. When I run this function ahead, let's see what you will have. Look, friends. Now you see there is a new column which we was created and on each country is associated with the year. You see, for instance, this Bene, you see 2009, Bene 2010, Bene 2011, and so on. Now, I want to check whether my data set is balanced or, no, or not. When I I'll talk about data which is balanced, that means as we have uh, data, there is no missing data for all period, period and individuals. For all countries and for all year, there is no missing data. That's what we call balanced data. Let's use this test to test whether to check whether my data set is balanced or not. Because this P data, it is where I, I saved my data, panel data. Let's run these comments. You see true. This is true. Is it balanced? True. That means my data set is balanced. Now I can just visualize make some box plot using this comment. You see, this is I want to analyze to make make box plot for each variable and for each year. Now I run this command scat plot pay bill uh, year country box plot. This is true, not pass. Let's run this comment. This is a box plot. I want to make a box plot. There are some outliers, but we can have an idea on domain of our variables. Our, GD, our our gross domestic product, as you can see here, the mean here you see is under. Maybe this is the consequence of COVID-19 because you see this is under, and that the mean blue for GDP is under. Uh, Zero is negative, as you can see. But when you look at other years, you see the mean blue for GDP is greater than zero. You, we can also make visualization of inflation to have idea on how inflation looks like. As you can see here, friends, inflation, you see it is, the rate of inflation, you see it is around zero, but you can see there are some outliers like these observations and this one, this one. And we can also have an idea of unemployment which is chômage en français. Uh, here you can also get some idea or related to domain, as you can see here, friends. Unemployment is for all year is around five, as you can see here, five. You see it is around five. But when you can see here, uh, friends, on 22, 2020 year, you can see inflation is greater than five. This is the visualization. Now we are going to show you how you can make unit uh, root testing in panel data using some tests. But before you perform any test, you must know your new hypothesis. And uh, when the p value is greater than your significance level, which is in normally. percent which is generally used you do not reject the new hypothesis but when the p-value is less than five percent for instance when we consider a significance level of five percent significance level of significance level of five percent when the, the p-value is less than a five percent reject the new hypothesis but when the p value is greater than five percent we do not reject the new hypothesis in our case the new hypothesis is that there is unit load in variable or variable is not 
is not uh, stationary is not stationary that means when you want to make stationary our variable we have to make differencing okay now we use this first test but you have to install this package plm let's run this package if you don't have it you need to install by uh, clicking here tools and click on install packages and you will write the name of your the package you want to install then we are going to use 11 11 link to unit loot test this one let you see here the first thing we have to do is to separate to get our data sets on uh, gdp this is PIB in français but it is gdp in english gross domestic product or proprietary breed this is the name of country let's run this command to get just the gdp and the countries and now i'm going to just run this this test this test here because you see this name is this one which include the gdp and name names of countries let's run this comment you will see look on the p value as you can see here friends the p value is less than five percent we reject the new hypothesis showing that our data set has unit root that means there is no unit root or this our data set in on gdp or gross domestic product is stationary let's uh, do the same for inflation let's clean here let i just uh, split or i just get inflation and names of country and i run this command uh, this this is saved my inflation and uh, names of countries here and this is the door the same name you, as you can see let's check whether is stationary or not the p-value is less than five percent as you can see here friends as you can see here friends the p-value is less than five percent and the no hypothesis is rejected and we say that inflation in sub-saharan african countries is stationary let's do the same with unemployment or chômage as you can see here friends i just uh, select uh, chômage or unemployment and names of a country this is the same comment and now i'm going to run this this comment like this as you can see here friends the p-value is greater than five percent that means we do not reject the new hypothesis saying that in fresh uh, unemployment here is not stationary or unemployment has unit loot because the p value is greater than five percent let's uh, use this second test madala who unit loot test because i have already sp uh, splitted or divided or i have created my in, uh, my in, variables in the first comment i do not uh, need to repeat to repeat this comment to you this comment this one i don't know i do not need to repeat this comment because i have already created it i just need to apply this test let's use this one i'm going to test on gdp gross domestic product whether to check whether it is stationary or not we look on p-value see the p-value is less than five percent as you can see here friends i'm testing unit loot in panel data you see here the tests you see the p-value that means our data sets or our in here we are working on uh, gross domestic product that means it is stationary because the new hypothesis is rejected let's work on inflation uh, look friends when you use inflation you see also when we look on inflation the p-value is less than five percent and we reject the normal hypothesis and you conclude that uh, conclude that unemployment is stationary let's check with uh, unemployment or chômage let's run this comment this one this one friends we just look how it looks like which you uh, look the result the p-value here you see friends is greater than five percent and we do not reject the new hypothesis that means unemployment is not stationary that means it has unit loot 
let's use with this pencil and sheen unit loot test this i only need to change here here i will change all those only here let's run this comments this is the third test you see the p value is less than five percent and uh, we can we reject the new hypothesis let's do the same for inflation this one look the results you see um the p value is less than five percent that means though we reject the new hypothesis that uh, indicating that the, our inflation is stationary. Let's do the same for unemployment or chômage in French. As you can see here, friends, the p-value is one and is greater than five percent. We do not reject the new hypothesis and conclude that chômage or unemployment is not stationary. Or it has unit roots. To make it stationary, we need to make differentiation or differencing. Though. Unemployment. <clears throat> okay, friends, this is how you can check unit loot when you are working on your panel data. Because when your data, uh, your panel data is stationary, you can use um, linear regression to perform some analysis. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching my video. I invite you to subscribe and share my videos so as not to miss the next presentation on a serial correction and rises thank you for watching for next video bye